Okay, a couple of first things on this tutorial is you're going to have to have SSH enabled and your Pi is going to have to be switched on. The first thing you're going to have to do is actually locate it on the network. If you don't know how to do the SSH bit, I'll try and cover that in a second anyway, so don't worry about it. But you'll be going to the next step then coming back to, to the bit uh, that we're doing now. Um, basically, you can see I can't see the Raspberry Pi on here because this is IP scanner. You can download this from the App Store. Um, the standard version only shows you the first six. But one of the things I noticed, if you press stop and rescan, the Pi shows up quite quickly. So it should have picked. There you go. It's on 39. I don't know if you've seen that or not. But I got the IP address. It's on 39, which basically means it's 192.168.139. So we don't need this now, and what you need to open is a terminal window. Where do you find that? If you go up to where it's got Finder, so just click on your desktop, then on the Go, then down to Utilities, and you'll find Terminal there. That's where your terminal is, and then this is where we are now. Okay, so now we're going to log in via SSH, SSH, and then the IP address is 192.168.1.39 and minus L and then our username which is pi and you'll have the default password unless you've changed it and then the next thing is you want to SUDO which is super user does at get install tight VNC server mine's already installed so it may just do an update check okay and then what you want to do is VNC server colon O minus geometry nineteen twenty Times one oh eight oh depth twenty four. So it looks like it's already up and running there. Move this file there if there is no X server. Okay, well, the saying is it's there. Um, what you want to get is this little bit of software called VNC Viewer, which is from realvnc.com. It's a free download, you'll have to register with them uh, so the software works, but. It's handy to have anyway. But then it's 192.168.139 colon 1. And we should be able to connect. The connection was refused by the computer. Why? That's an interesting one. Okay, so it does, it does appear that port 0 is already taken. So what we'll do, we'll change that to port 1. Let's give that a try. Let's see what happens now. Check that to one. Next file, start navigation. File. There we go, and finally we're in. The reason I like to show these little error things is because these are the sort of thing you go, well, they worked straight away when you did it. <laughs> um, so as you can see, we had to change that from zero to one to change the port number because zero was already taken. Um, but now you've got access to your desktop. This is your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching.